Google just launched Gemini 3 Flash computer use agents. And basically, Google just dropped a free AI agent that can control your browser for you. I'm going to break it down today. You can click buttons, fill out forms, scroll through websites, does the boring stuff you hate, and you don't need to be technical to use it. And today, we're testing Google's brand new computer use agents live. So I'm going to show you how to access this for free right now, the exact websites where you can test it in 30 seconds, how this could automate, for example, like lead research, form filling, repetitive browser tasks, a 30 day plan to turn this into a real system, why this could potentially replace virtual assistants for certain tasks, right? And here's the thing. Most people hear AI agent and think it's complicated, right? They think you need to code. They think it's expensive. They think it's not ready yet. Wrong and partially right. We're testing it out live to find out. All right. This is brand new. It's in preview. It might break. But that's exactly why we're doing this together so that by the end of the stream, you know exactly how this works and whether it's ready for your business. Let's test it out, right? If you have any questions, drop them in the chat if you're watching live right now. And Casper says, nice, that came across you in one of the groups. You speak with a lot of sense and you're really easy to listen to. I've just joined the free AI success lab. So we'll see what we can cook up. Legend. Appreciate you, Casper. Great to see you. All right. So how are you going to access to this? All right. So inside the resources section here, you can see a bunch of different links. What you want to do is go to gemini.browserbase.com, as you can see right here, and then you can start using this, right? So for example, if we say, okay, play a game of 2048, right? What this can actually do is open up the Gemini browser and then navigate to 2048 and start using it, right? As you can see right here. Now we have a maximum session time at the bottom here. But honestly, most people are not going to use most of the session time, right? Most people are not going to be using computer use agents for longer than that. Now we'll show you a get around in a minute if you want to get access to this sort of stuff for longer. All right. But you can see here how it's basically navigating to this. Now what we can actually do is duplicate the tab and have multiple different AI agents, computer use agents running in the background. But I want to show you how this works. So what you can see here is that it's actually going to start playing the game for us, right? Now, if we have a look at the page, we can scroll up and down on the page. But basically, it's playing 2048 for us, and it's going to start playing the game and using it for us, right? Now, the other way that you can use this, so let me show you how to get access to this, is you can also, for example, you can go to Gemini 3 Flash. Make sure you are using Flash because 2.5 computer use is good, but that's the old version. You want to use a new version, right? And what you can do over here, for example, is you can say, okay, get the latest news about football, right? Something like that, right? And it'll open up a new browser again and begin to start working its magic. And you can see here that it's actually performing actions, right? So you can see the whole history of what it's doing. So it's navigate to this, do this. And if someone was asking about learning MCPs before, this is connected to the MCPs because it has its own tools, right? So it can, for example, click arrow keys. It can take Take screenshots it can perform actions like you can see and it can get access to this and you can see the score is going up here so it's actually using the screen to just work in the background whilst i'm talking to you if we have a look here this is beginning to start searching for the latest football news and one thing to note here is that this is using a sort of vps right a virtual private server so it is safer than what i'm about to show you which is another way to get access to this so the other way that you can start using this is you can install something called nano browser right nano browser so if you haven't used that before you can just navigate to nano browser as you can see right here I've already got it installed and you want to download this AI web agent. Now using this, it can actually navigate directly inside our Chrome browser, which is pretty crazy. So for example, if we go to extensions and then we go to Nano browser, as you can see, it's ready to go. We're going to pull this up. We can start a new chat or we can refresh. We can change our settings, right? And inside the settings here, this is important to know. What you want to do is just get an API key and plug it in this section, right? So if you go to AI Studio over here, you can grab an API key and you can start using this. Now, if you don't have access to, for example, Gemini, or you don't want to pay for an API, because you can use this for free inside Gemini browser. But if you want to use Nano browser, the extension, then you can actually use, for example, free APIs from Grok, or you can use Olama as well. And there's actually a lot of free APIs you can use with Open Router as well. So there are many free ways to access this if you just want to go down the cheap route. And then from here, we just select our model selection. So once you've got an API key, which you can get from AI Studio by going to API key sections over here, then you can plug them in and you can select which model you want to use for each of these, right? As you can see, and then you can switch between the module that you're going to use. Right? And so Nano Browser is another way you can get access to this. You can actually switch off here, take in analytics. You can change the maximum actions per step, the maximum steps per task, failure tolerance, etc. And then you can start using this, right? Now, how do you start using it? What you do is you prompt it over here, you can see, and then you get it to work its magic. So for example, we say, okay, go to juliangoldie.com plus tell me how 
I can improve my website, something like that. We'll hit send and we'll just see if this works. Sometimes it doesn't always work. So I just want to be 100% transparent with you, but we'll see if it works, see if it breaks, etc. In the meantime, if we go back over to Gemini browser, we've got this working in the background and we have that working in the background too. So we're going to get this to navigate to juliangoldie.com and you can see it's now navigated to juliangoldie.com over here, right? It's done that on its own. I didn't do that. And now it's on the page, as you can see, and it's beginning to navigate to the target page to find information on websites and improving them. And so this is working in the background whilst I talk to you. Now, you might be thinking, okay, what even is computer use? Like, how does this work? Think about everything you do in a browser, whether that's filling out lead forms, researching competitors, copying data between tabs, clicking through, logging into websites. Now imagine an AI doing all of that for you. That's basically computer use. So Google's computer use model can literally see your screen. It takes screenshots, it figures out what to click, it types, it scrolls, it fills in forms, like having a virtual assistant who works at the speed of light. All right. You can also, for example, the important thing about this is you're probably already using ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini, right? And they're great, but those tools can only talk to you. They can't really do things. Whereas computer use agents actually take action. So they don't just write the email, they could send it. They don't just find the lead, they could fill out the form. They don't just research, they could complete it or compile it automatically. And this is the difference between AI as a chatbot and AI as an employee. So for example, we could give it a list of company names, have it visit each website, pull out contact information, and add it to a spreadsheet. Abdullah says, hey boss, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Happy Christmas. And then you can see here, it's just navigating through the blog posts and everything else, right? It's trying to look through the website and just see what it can do. I should probably zoom out for it so it can see the whole screen. And then you can see it's analyzing the screen right here. You could also, for example, send it to five competitive websites, have it find pricing pages, compile that into a comparison. You could do an SEO audit with this. You could have it log in to SEO tools, navigate to specific reports, screenshot the key metrics, etc. And that's basically how it works. All right. So I've shown you two different ways you can use this. So the other way, and this is not using Google, but I do want to show you as an additional option because it's one of the best options that I've seen, right? The other way that you can do this, I'm going to click on cancel now and we'll take over the screen. So we'll cancel that. But the other way you can use is Claude computer use as well, right? And this is pretty crazy too. So for example here, and this is one of the best ways I've seen to use computer use agents, but we can basically go to Claude and we can type in an action right here. So if we're like, okay, create a new Google doc and SEO blog. Right, about SEO training in Japan, plus write it in third grade language, funny, plus make sure you send people to get a free SEO strategy session by this link. Right? And then we'll give the link, which is this one, boom, we'll have it go off on the web and start using this, right? And so now it's navigating to Google Docs, as you can see, it's gonna create a new Google Doc, right? Pretty amazing, it's just doing this in the background. That's why I think, I honestly think like, Claude code computer use agents are some of the best I've ever seen. I think that Claude have really developed the API for doing this, but you can see how it's writing this, right? So it said the great SEO training quest in Japan, why a hero needs digital marketing skills more than wasabi tolerance, right? And then it's just going off and writing the blog post for us, as we can see. And so we can get this computer use agent to just start writing a blog for us whilst I'm talking to you. And I think that's really interesting. The way, the speed that it creates it, and also the way it can navigate through like Google Docs, it can send traffic to our funnels. We'll actually review the blog in a second, but you can see that it's creating this whilst I'm talking to you, right? And it's just going off on a crazy tangent and writing a long blog. So it's amazing what you can do. You can see the whole blog right here, right? And if you want to know, is the computer still in action? You can actually see that it's in red. So when it's in red around the side, that means it's still working as magic. So I'm going to stop that right there. You can take it over. You can see how fast and easy that was. That was incredibly powerful. So between Nano Browser, between Gemini Browser Base, between Claude and the Chrome extension for the computer use agent, you've got some amazing tools that you could potentially use, right? And all of them, I've shown you how they work today. So that's basically how it works. I've actually created a document with all the video notes from today to implement this using the browser autopilot framework. This is a 30 day plan to go from what is this to this runs my lead research, as you can see. It shows you exactly what to do day by day to implement this for your business. This is inside the AI success lab. So if you go to the link in the comments and description, this is a completely free community. You can connect with 41,600 members. You can post in the community, ask any questions. If you go to the classroom, then go to December, you can see all the details right here of what you can learn, right? I've also given you some examples of what you can build and a 30 day plan, as you can see with a custom framework. On top of that, I've also given you like over 120 
prompts that you can test out yourself, right? So you can see here 100 prompts for Google computing use AI agents. And you've got, for example, like research and information gathering. You've got, for example, information and prompts you could just copy and swipe and deploy for form filling and data entry. You've also got options for navigation and interaction. Basically everything you can think of when it comes to business automation with AI, I've given you prompts for inside this section and split it by categories to make it as easy as possible for you. All right. Now, before we get onto that, some people are going to say, I need to code to use AI agents. But the truth is you literally just go to gemini.browserbase.com, type in what you want, press run, watch AI browse, no code, right? I speak five languages. Python isn't one of them, but I can still test this, right? So the new belief here is like the AI tools free and visual. Some people want to say this is too new and not ready. And the truth is it is new. It is experimental. It will break sometimes, right? But the people who test now understand it first. And that's the important thing here, right? The people who test it now understand it first. So when it's ready for everyone, you'll already know how to use it. And the reason that I wake up at 4.30 a.m. every day is because early action equals early advantage. It's the same principle with this, right? So the new belief that you should really have to empower yourself is testing early is how you stay ahead. Other people say AI agents will replace me. And the truth is that AI agents just do the boring stuff, right? Clicking, scrolling, filling forms. You still decide what to automate. You still review the output. You still run the business. It's just like you've got a tireless assistant, a computer agent who never complains about repetitive work. And so new belief really is like AI agents give me leverage, not replacement. Tekken says you're the best. I'm your fan. Appreciate you. Thank you very much, Tekken. Appreciate you. And we've got Usman from Pakistan. Zero knowledge. I hope this helps you. And if you do have any questions, Usman, I'm happy to help you as well. All right. Some people want to say I need expensive software, but the truth is browser-based demo is free, right? So the barrier is not cost. The barrier is just starting. And the new empowering belief you should have is the tools are free and my time is what we save, right? And see, so this is really what it's about. It's just taking time to learn. Some people say this doesn't work for my business, but the truth is if you use a browser, this is for you, right? Every business has data entry, research tasks, form filling, report filling, and computers handles browsers. You have a browser. It makes sense, right? If I use a browser, I can use browser automation. Other people say, I don't have time to learn this. The truth is day one takes 10 minutes, right? So you just go to browser base, demo, type one prompt, watch what happens, that's it. I block 100 minutes for the biggest constraints in my business. You can block 10 minutes for this. And the empowering belief to have here is like 10 minutes of testing beats zero minutes of learning, right? Other people say, well, wait until it's perfect. And the truth is it will never be perfect. No way, right? And waiting equals falling behind. So the people who win are the ones who test imperfect tools early. I'd rather try something that breaks and learn than wait and wonder. So the new empowering belief that you should have really is like progress over perfection. Other people say this is just hype. And the truth is like Google's internal teams use this for my testing. They've tested it on Project Marina, anti-gravity, Firebase, right? Companies like Auto report 18% performance improvements with this stuff. So it isn't hype. This is real technology being tested publicly. We just test it live to see what works for us. And so the new belief is like real companies are using this. I should understand it. Other people say my virtual system could do better. I would say the truth is your virtual system can do this better for now, but can they work 24 seven, right? No. Can they scale to 100 tasks simultaneously? No. Can they process at the speed of a computer? No. So this isn't about replacing VAs. It's about understanding what's possible. AI handles volume, humans handle judgment. Now, before we move on, you're going to say, this is great for you, Julian. You're getting results of this stuff. AI automation is great for you. You do it all day, right? But if you check out the AI profit boardroom, you'll see other people winning with this stuff too. You can see all the amazing community that we've got here. This is an amazing community where people learn, test, grow together, as you can see. And inside the community here, you can see that we actually have an account accountability group. So we hold each other accountable to learning and testing and this stuff. Also inside the classroom here, you can see that we have all of these amazing courses that teach you AI automation. And if you ever get stuck or you want to speak to someone on a call, we have four coaching calls per week where you can jump up the course. They do get recorded and you can ask questions in real time. All right. So between all of this training, the community, the accountability groups, the wins that people share and the information that we share inside there, plus the calendar, you get everything you need to succeed. The other cool thing that we do inside here, if we go to the weekly update section, is each week, a lot of people struggle with keeping up with this stuff. There's a new AI tool to test every single week, right? And so what we actually do here is we actually test and I condense 80 hours of my testing into a five minute quick update and I just post 
here's what's worth your time and here's what's not worth your time, right? Inside the Air Profit Boarding Man. Do that every single week and people just absolutely love it, right? So you can see here, for example, if we go down, you see some of the comments here. Christian said, thanks for the eight hours condensed testing. Brooke said, love it, very insightful and entertaining. You've got, for example, Craig, who said, I just upgraded to Ultra based on your video and I'm loving it so far, right? So this is what we're about. We're just about helping people win, helping each other grow, helping each other learn. So that's all inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Feel free to get it. Link in the comments in the description.